For Mastering Incident Investigations, a step-by-step -step guide, the truth matters. Whether it's a major news event or an incident that impacts your business, getting to the bottom of what happened is critical. Investigating an incident involves several key steps to uncover what happened and why. Here's a structured approach you can consider, a roadmap, if you will, to navigate the often complex process of incident investigation. Over the next few minutes, we're going to break down each step, providing you with clear and actionable insights to conduct an effective investigation. Immediate response, securing the scene. The first 24 hours after an incident are critical. Your first priority is always safety. Secure the scene to prevent further harm or contamination. This might involve cordoning off the area, evacuating personnel, or taking steps to contain a chemical spill. Ensure that anyone who might be injured receives immediate medical attention. Time is of the essence, sometimes even a matter of life and death. Next, gather contact information for everyone at the scene witnesses, employees, supervisors. These individuals may have crucial information that can help you piece together what happened. Remember, the goal here is to stabilize the situation and preserve the integrity of the investigation. The more chaos, the more difficult it will be to separate fact from fiction. Gather information, separating fact from fiction. Now we start digging deeper. We need to collect information from every available source, interview witnesses, ask open-ended questions. What did you see? What did you hear? Were there any warning signs? Don't just rely on memory. Look for physical evidence too. Photographs, security footage, work logs. These can provide valuable clues about the sequence of events. And be sure to document everything meticulously. Remember, even seemingly insignificant details can prove critical later in the investigation. Established timeline, every second counts. We've gathered our evidence, now we need to put the puzzle pieces together. Construct a clear timeline of what happened. When did each event occur? When were concerns raised? This timeline will be the backbone of our investigation, helping us identify gaps in our knowledge and pinpoint the root causes of the incident. This is where meticulous documentation becomes essential. A well-constructed timeline allows us to see the incident unfold minute by minute and identify any inconsistencies or missing information. Chapter 4. Identify root causes. Why did this happen? We're not just interested in what happened, we need to understand why. Was it human error, equipment failure, a combination of factors? Dig deep, ask tough questions, and don't be afraid to challenge assumptions. Our goal is to get to the heart of the matter, to uncover the underlying issues that contributed to the incident. Remember, identifying root causes isn't about assigning blame, it's about preventing the same incident from happening again. Chapter 5. Recommend corrective actions preventing future incidents. We've identified the root causes, now we need to develop solutions. What steps can we take to prevent this from happening again? These corrective actions should address each root cause directly and systematically. This may involve implementing new safety protocols, investing in updated equipment, or providing additional training to employees. The key is to be specific, measurable and realistic in our recommendations. Chapter 6. Document Findings. Leaving a paper trail. Our investigation is complete, but the work isn't done. We need to document everything. This report should be clear, concise and comprehensive. Detailing our findings, conclusions and recommendations, think of this report as a blueprint for the future. A roadmap to prevent similar incidents from occurring. It should be easily accessible to anyone who needs it. Transparency is key. By documenting our findings, we ensure accountability and provide a valuable resource for future learning. Chapter 7. Follow-up ensuring lasting change. Our final step, but arguably the most important. We've made our recommendations, but we need to make sure they're implemented. Follow up regularly to monitor progress and assess the effectiveness of the corrective actions. Change doesn't happen overnight. It requires diligence, commitment and ongoing evaluation. Are we seeing a decrease in similar incidents? Have we addressed the underlying issues? This ongoing assessment ensures that our efforts are making a real difference and that we're creating a safer, more resilient organisation.
Outro Mastering Incident Investigations The Takeaway. Incident investigations can be complex and challenging, but they are essential for learning, growth, and preventing future harm. Each step requires attention to detail and thorough documentation to ensure a comprehensive investigation. By following these steps, we can move beyond simply reacting to incidents and create a culture of proactive safety and continuous improvement. Remember, the goal of any investigation is not just to find answers, but to prevent future harm. By taking a systematic and thorough approach, we can create a safer, more resilient world for everyone.